Westpac, Westchester People's Action Coalition. Uh, why are you here today? We're here today to demand justice for Jamal Khashoggi. He was a U.S. resident, uh, he was a columnist with the Washington Post, and he has been disappeared. He was last seen inside the Saudi consulate last Tuesday in Istanbul. Uh, the Turkish authorities are alleging that the top levels of the Saudi government sent a hit team of 15 men to murder him and dismember him. Uh, the social justice community is asking that the perpetrators of this crime be brought to justice in a court of law. Do you think that that is what actually happened? He has been murdered? I think it would be very uh, difficult to imagine why the Turkish authorities would make such serious allegations if they could not substantiate them. What we're hearing today is that they're saying the consulate in Istanbul is under their surveillance. Uh, and that they have video footage of his murder. I, I believe that three journalists were killed last week. And this means a great deal for democracy around the world. Uh, what do you think that we can accomplish here? Uh, One of our demands is the strengthening of international institutions such as the International Criminal Court. Uh, the forced disappearance and or murder of reporters and journalists represent part of the crimes against humanity, uh, where the International Criminal Court has jurisdiction. So we want any regime, any government, that engages in repression against journalists and reporters to be brought to justice in a, an appropriate court of law that has jurisdiction over these crimes. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Sally Jones. I'm here because this is just outrageous what has happened to these journalists. Uh, to be killed speaking out against a, a terrible war and other really other inequities and uh, uh, problems in Saudi Arabia as a Saudi citizen. Uh, he was a U.S. resident, a uh, mainstream journalist, uh, did great work. I worked for the Washington Post. I read his, uh, his articles. They're very reasoned from a Saudi perspective. And to think that he uh, goes into a consulate and uh, doesn't come out and is supposedly hacked to death, it's just horrible. And it, it's a concern because we need voices. We need the voices of journalists to be critical uh, at every level in every country, especially I need them here in the United States, and I'm sure Saudis feel the same way about their journalists. They're critical to an open, free society and uh, to stop these wars. He was speaking out against the Saudi-led war in Yemen, which is costing the Saudis $200 million a day and uh, $1.3 million, or I think it's $3.1 million every time they fire a Patriot missile. Um, it's depleted their financial reserves one, by one third, and they borrowed something like four billion dollars from international banks. That's the kind of argument that you put forward as a Saudi citizen to try to convince the Saudi government this is crazy what they're doing. Uh, so it's very uh, interesting to read his articles in the Washington Post about that. We've been working. I'm from Peace Action. We've been working to end the war in. Uh, Yemen, we call on uh, our country uh, to stop its complicit uh, participation in this war. There's a, a bill in Congress, H. Khan Rez 138, which will uh, start doing that, and uh, everybody should be calling their representative to be a co sponsor to H.R. Khan Rez 138. It's a special resolution using the War Powers Act, it bypasses committee, goes to the, the uh, floor of the House, and it starts forcing Congress to take responsibility for this undeclared illegal war on And uh, I hope you call 
everybody could hear this, call Congress. How do you get people to be more motivated? I mean, the American people are very apathetic. It's difficult to get people who are losing. Well, I, I don't know. People are pretty riled up these days about a lot of things. I think one of the problems is that we're riled up about so many things that the war in Yemen sometimes doesn't get a voice. And, you know, we once in a while something horrific happens, like the, there was a bombing of a bus that 70 women, children, civilians were killed. Uh, that was uh, pictures, you know, went out on the press, so then people see that and are upset. But there's uh, 20, 23 million Yemenis that uh, require, 75 percent of their population requires humanitarian aid. They've been through a cholera epidemic. They have uh, millions of women and children who are malnourished. Uh, the, the aid isn't getting to them. It's called the worst humanitarian crisis currently going on in the world by the United Nations. You know, there's if, uh, if we weren't in such a turmoil on everything else, this would be the story or one of the key stories. I think people do care. I, I think it's just overwhelming sometimes. So, you know, it, it, it's amazing what you can do by picking up the phone and making this issue go to the top of that big pile of um, papers that are on your Congress person's desk there and get them to put their name on this bill, HR Yeah. Well, you know, it's not, it's not a Democratic or a Republican issue because the Demo under Obama, this uh, complicity in the war in Yemen started, so we can't take, uh, sit back, let's say some big change happens in Congress and there's control by a different party. You're not going to see an end to the war. You can't assume anything. You have to go after every single individual representative and tell the story. People, there are Yemenis in New York City. Bring them, their voices out. There's, they can tell the story. Sometimes people respond to the story of what's happening to their family. Um, you know, how do you? That's one way of bringing it out. Because we're New Yorkers, we live with Yemen, Yemenis. The, most of the delis in Brooklyn and Staten Island are run by Yemenis. So just go in and talk to them, and you'll get a story. So, definitely, they're here, they're our neighbors, so we have a duty to uh, speak up. You know, when it comes to Saudi Arabia, we are at the Saudi consulate in New York City demanding for justice for Jamal Khashoggi, who has been missing uh, for over a week. We demand that the American government puts pressure to hold the Saudi government accountable for any role it may have had in this travesty. And we're here with a number of peace and justice organizations to raise awareness about this huge injustice and to, again, demand accountability from the Saudi government for their war crimes in Yemen and for their potential complicity in a war crime of abducting and possibly killing a so anyone who's listening, we demand justice and please stand with us. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, indeed, we're here because we demand justice for Jamal Khashoggi. He's been forcibly disappeared, possibly murdered, and the Turkish government has released the names and the photographs of the alleged 15-member hit team. We're asking that Interpol issue warrants for the arrest of these 15 men. We want the perpetrators of this crime to be brought to justice in a court of law. What do we want? Justice, justice for Jamal. When, when do we want, we want it? it? Now. What do we want? Justice, justice for Jamal.